later I get a call back that you have to remove your turban and beard. And that's, that's when our, our fight and our struggle to serve uh, really began. Hi, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Singh Kulsi. I'm a doctor, I'm a soldier, I'm a, a father, a, a husband, a son. Hello Nishkam TV, we have Mrs. Kalsi and Lieutenant Colonel Kalsi. So, he is not only an emergency room physician, but the first Sikh member of the armed forces to serve with a turban, beard, and uncut hair in more than 20 years. So, in 2009, you were told to remove your hair before serving, but you were accommodated. Can you tell us about that process? Yeah, it was a, a long process. Uh, and, uh, actually, like, like you said, it was the first accommodation of its kind in over 30 years. Uh, you know, I'm not the first Sikh in the U.S. Army. We've had six serves since the late 1800s. Uh, but what we found was when we went through the process of getting my accommodation, it took over a year and a half. It took, uh, you know, a letter from Congress uh, to then Secretary of Defense. I mean, it was a massive effort uh, by the community to get uh, uh, just a few of us in. So it's clear that you had to fight to uh, become a member of the Army with your Articles of Faith. But um, when you were serving, the people you served alongside with, were they accepting? Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. The, the soldiers that I, you know, took care of and worked alongside of uh, really had no issues. You know, so uh, they didn't care. And in fact, I'm really, really good friends with uh, so many of them. Uh, and we meet them randomly, you know. So I, you know, when we deployed to Afghanistan in 2011, uh, uh, we took care of hundreds of combat casualties and just every now and then you still run into some of those people uh, we were just at the July 4th parade in DC and one of them uh, just saw me and he's like you took care of me I remember you um, and uh, and so it's, it's a very good feeling you know uh, so we're making a huge impact by simply uh, just doing our job so speaking of that employment, uh, did you, we heard that you received an award um, for that in 2011, so can you tell us about that? Yeah, I was awarded a Bronze Star Medal uh, for, for you know, taking care of all those combat casualties. And it was, uh, you know, it was tough. It's not easy. Uh, you know, you're, you're in the middle of a war field and you're, you're taking care of some pretty bad injuries and wounds. So. Uh, would not have been able to do it without the support of my, my family uh, and cer certainly without the community's support, you know, none of this would have happened. So really, really appreciate uh, everything that the community uh, has, has done. More recently, in 2017, the Army changed its uniform policy. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, and so it took us, so I got my accommodation in 2009, and then it took us basically another eight years to change policy in the U.S. Army. Now that's progress and you know the Army is the nation's largest employer so if the nation's largest uh, well the military is if the nation's largest employer then comes out and says hey this is okay uh, then that really sets the tone for the rest of the employers and and other agencies across the U.S. as well. So we've seen that. We've seen Police units say, okay, this is not such a big deal. Um, EMS and fire uh, come around and also start to allow six to serve. So moving towards the sick youth, we actually heard that you participated in Hamkun as a kid. So yeah. can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. When I was younger, we, uh, uh, my, my parents signed me up for everything. So uh, <laughs> like my kid's mom does now. So... So I was there uh, during the first few years of Hamkunt, uh, you know, doing the competitions. I did Kirtan, I did speeches, uh, 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 won a few of those competitions. And so just, it's a wonderful program. You know, it really teaches you how to be assertive and how to really compose yourself as you're speaking. Uh, you know, oratory skills are, um, it's very difficult to develop those unless you're 
you know, put on stage unless you're given an opportunity to improve those skills. So, so I think what they're doing is, is critical for, for building our community. So you are a role model, model for today's sick youth, so thank you for doing that. So do you have a message for today's sick youth that you can share with us? Just really get involved, you know, and, and there's so many of our stories that need to be told. You know, our Sikh heritage is filled with like amazing uh, stories of valor and bravery and sacrifice. You know, it's part of our identity. And so uh, a part of those, uh, you know, many of those stories we will be sharing at our film festival on August 24th. Um, so I think, uh, I don't know if you, you, you want to say a few words about the film festival. So, yeah. Yeah, so um, we have a film festival at the Princeton University on August 24th. It's for the youth. We want them to come out and uh, view these small films, and it's two sessions. Session A starts from 1 to 3. Different movies are showing in Session B, which starts from 4 to 6. There's a one-hour gap. Um, we, we would request everybody to buy their tickets online. Follow us on uh, social media. We have... Uh, uh, SAVA.org and SAVA.org Correct, SAVA.org and uh, purchase your tickets online because there's only 250 seats available and I know this th this is going to sell very fast Yeah, yeah and we're, we're looking for uh, sponsors also so if uh, anybody wants to you know, support SAVA or our film festival or if you, if you really believe in the work that we do uh, it's a non-profit, we our mission is to help uh, promote Sikh military history and service. And as you know, we help open doors for military service for Sikhs and other religious minorities. Not too long ago, we got uh, three young Sikhs into the Air Force, and that was historic. Um, so we continue to do that type of work, um, and the film festival and other events allows us to continue funding that type of work. So please come out and uh, support. Thank you for everything you've done and continue to do. Thank you for organizing this great platform for sick youth and for the arts. Um, and thank you for speaking with us at Nishkam TV. Thank so um, be sure to uh, buy tickets for the uh, Sick Arts and Film Festival. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.